economical. Hello, it's me. I was watching some YouTube video and find this game. So today we're gonna do something different. Hmm. Oh, we got to decide the name of the land. So I will call it No Brain Land. And the system will be Economist. Oh, the name of the game. Uh, it's Pile Up. No, it's not that type of Pile Up. Uh, we're talking about buildings. You have limited real estate. The only way is to go up, thus Pile Up. So here's how it works. Those houses you get will be randomized, except for the first round and production buildings. Uh, the challenge is to manage these life requirements. Like water, electricity, gas and apparently people need green gardens oh my god those are the most annoying one because you cannot place anything on top of it if you click this button you can see your citizen and if you don't make them happy they'll be sad well that's very informative if they're so sad then you'll be sacked you know you know democracy it took me a few tries to figure things out and I have unlocked some building in the talent tree. But let's go over the basic here. So the water tanks will destroy the building below it because it leaked unless it was placed on the solid buildings or on the ground or uh, placed it on top of other water tanks. And the gas and electricity cannot be placed too close to each other otherwise they explode. You get different size housing and since you have a limited real estate uh, you need to do it in a way to maximize the space the goal is to reach the maximum population not the height so let's start planning our city now since i already play a few games i think this configuration is better for the early game so the first round of buildings is always going to be like this and it's not randomized after you place down all of them you will get those factory buildings um, they don't require any resources so you can put it away from your houses in the next round you will get these buildings the factory produce those will be randomized so you see this is a solid building it's a platform you can attach to other buildings and we are going to we can place it on the outside to increase the real estate but uh, what i'm going to do is place it in the middle for the water tank and this way our water tank is going to cover the entire city and our citizen will be happy all right let's continue building I reserve this little square for big house here. Uh, let's put it there. Perfect. And we have upgraded from no brain area to no brain well. Uh, so we got to choose the dumpster or the watchtower. Um, the dumpster allow you to skip around without building. Like, yes. So you have to place every single building you get. Otherwise, you won't be passing the round to get a new buildings. With dumpster, it seems like you can ignore that fact. I'm going to choose the dumpster because that's just simply just convenience. So here we're choosing action factory. Uh, I'm choosing this one with toy store and two casino. So we place down all the factory building and we can go to the next round and we should be given new houses. So you need to reach these population goals to gain new factory. If you destroy the building or cause an explosion, your citizen will be dead and potentially you could lose. We should put this underneath the garden here. And here we go, no brain town. A uh, few options here, I'm going to choose the court. It will generate a gel. Toy store is just better than everything else. Casino have some risk. So let's pick the last one. So if we put down the court here, there's middle area where we can put a home office. Uh, you can use the bird's eye view to place buildings uh, that's in the middle where it cannot see. And let's just put it here. Right, that's flat. Perfect. What the gel does is that when you place it down, it forced all of the production uh, out of your factory. But if you place it next to the factory, it will drain the factory. So you have to separate them. Two hours later. So let's see how this casino do. It will draw. It will have a good, medium, and bad. Oh, it's the bad. So we got some explosive. Okay, we're going to get rid of this bomb. Uh, I don't care about this water tank. So let's blow it up. Oof. The explosion. Oh, we got lucky this time. We got a hotel. The hotel is this uh, small building that gives you a massive amount of uh, population. 
we are very close to the 5k population goal. And for this map, 5k is the maximum. Wait. Economical crisis? I will drain all the factory. I... I... We probably put down too too many gel, so it drains all of the factory without uh, enough population. Economical crisis on the land full of economists. Well, I have to lay down. There's a city blueprint, that's the talent tree. Uh, after each game, you will be rewarded the scraps, which is your talent point, and you can unlock new buildings. Now I have all of them uh, complete. So I have every single building. So you can go back to the menu and find a handbook. This handbook, uh, you can see all of the building you have unlocked, what they do, how big they are. So you have better knowledge next time when you're playing this game. And this is the map. Obviously, there's going to be uh, more map to come. Hopefully, there's some um, new game modes to come as well. Uh, to my knowledge, they're just getting started. A very small studio. Like the art, the music bit repetitive, but suited. Uh, graphics wise there are day and night cycle and weather effects but I turn it off if you're just playing by yourself it's fine but for YouTube video I think there's some uh, visibility problem and the whole progression feels very slow uh, it took an hour the first time playing this game uh, it's more of a chill game time killer so what do you guys think about this game you like it you don't like it let me know in the comment